I can explain also about the Millie Dowler situation, which is why Brian's not explaining it as well. You know, during the time that Millie Dowler's body hadn't been found, in that September of that year, I think it was 2002, Holly Wells, Jessica Chapman, by Ian Huntley, Helen Manoff, the woman that I whistle blew to. Why would why would Brian be so worried? If this doesn't I don't know why you back to his enforcement agent friend. If this doesn't go back to his enforcement agent friends attacking me at my heart. This is more personal than anybody realizes. And everything I've got to say, yeah, what, as Brian what, said, what are you trying, ain't got what evidence, are you, um, well, mate, what? you better have the evidence to back up. You better have the evidence to back up everything that has now become very clear as to what I've collected over the last 10 to 15 years. And you see, the thing is, is his gang and his people targeted my dad, targeted me to the point I was going to take Barnet Police to court in 2008. I have the paperwork. I stepped out. I bounced. Yeah, because what they done, 20 of them ganged up on me with my sister and three babies, smacked my three year old son across the face, kicked a six month old baby in the head. Like this is getting a joke. And do you know what the police done? They covered up for them in Barnet. And there's no way they could have done because it was all in the high street. But from there, I had the suspicion. And now, do you know what? Years later, that same group that jumped me involves Ambrose Ball. And I've tried to speak out. So why hasn't Brian nor Nikki said anything regarding this mother who cannot put her child to rest, who's still sitting in a morgue? Because I know names of the gang members that's helped to have this man dead. I investigated that case too in 2015 when he died in that January. I know the people involved. They're the people that silenced me and they're Nikki's friends. So you were 10 times on my channel, didn't get the response that he's looking for. Him and Lord Nibbler, as soon as they thought, I'm totally against Brian Harvey and Nikki Lee, which I'm not, by the way. There's something that is wrong that is going on, and I'm in the midst of trying to understand, because at the same time, the warfare, the only main common denominator is this person that's targeting your account. Mm. What's going on? I, when I say I'm not totally against them, is that it's got mixed up that I'm saying Brian has caused them. No, I, I think I may, need to make it clear. Ambrose was involved with gangs that attacked me in 2008. And sorry to say that, but that's true. The gangs that he was involved with have more knowledge or whatever on his death and not speaking. The suspected murderer is in the class photo with me at school that they say is they suspect. I'm not saying it's that person. I'm saying more people do know what's going on. And if the police were able to cover it up in 2008 because they covered up for the gangs, why wouldn't that be expected to all be covered up when he's found dead? That's what I'm saying. There's a bigger picture to this. I did reach out to Tony Lavelle in 2018, the Book of Revelations account in 2018, and I gave them the same information. It's their choice to hear or not. I spoke to them in 2015. It's their choice to hear or not. It's not their right to go around saying I did this same thing out of country. I'm saying if Brian Hogg is being targeted, I will back the man 100%. But there have become questions because of all of this resurrection of Karen Irving, this hoax dead, and what's going on, and the recent information of the recent death. So if that is true, they're saying it's not, you know, it's not nice for people to have some kind of meltdown all online because people have, well, they have the police in their pockets. They have, they have people in their pockets. I can prove they have. Mm.